can we open the house up to questions? Uh, let's, let it be a freewheeling discussion. Have fun. Ask the most politically incorrect questions. And I think we will uh, have a good hour. It's really looking good. Yeah? Uh, good job, Isani. All yeah. credit here. <laughs> Both of you. Hi, Don. My name is Ravi. I'm from Hi. Uh, my question is... Uh, so, I didn't get a name. My name is Ravi and I'm from Hi. Uh, John, from Zing. how you differentiate fitness and success in your life? My question is, how you differentiate success and fitness in your life? Uh, fitness is consistent. Without mic, yes. Oh, without mic. <coughs> Without you mic. Guys be able to hear? Without mic? Uh, will you guys yeah, yeah. Okay. So fitness in my life uh, is consistent. Um, Can't hear. Okay. No, no, there is a mic, but the camera guy wants him to do it. There is a mic. Mic will do. Okay, why don't we just keep it a little far away so you can slightly yeah. Yeah. So Fitness in my life is consistent. My uh, success not is not necessarily consistent. That's the only differentiator. You see success, you see failure. But when you see failure, it doesn't mean you're, you're not fit. You have to be fit 24-7. So that's a constant in my life and that's the biggest differentiator. Shall I speak about films? Um, it's not true at all. Um, Shujit and I are developing another subject as well. And we are very excited about uh, starting either one of the two. Um, we are producing eight films together. So 1911 is definitely on, on, a, on a priority list. It just depends on um, my earlier commitments that I need to finish and Shujit's also got certain commitments that he needs to finish. But uh, Shujit and me are a family so uh, be it one film or the other we're going to keep producing and we're producing films together for the next uh, five years at least. So that's what about eight films would take you. Uh, from the man who has the best comic timing in the industry, I think it's uh, the biggest compliment. And I'd like to, uh, in fact, thank him because he's one of the reasons why uh, I've improved my comic timing. And um, if you see most of my comedy films, be it Garam Masala or Desi Boys, The Houseful, has always been with co-stars. Uh, Welcome Back in a Strange Way is, is with me alone. I've been let out in, into the wild alone. And uh, I, I have seen the film, so I can only tell you that you could be probably be in the saddest state of your life, but when you go and see Welcome Back, it'll make you so, so happy. It's a universal film. Kids will love it. Grandparents will love it. Everyone's going to love this film. And I hope I've done well for myself. No, yeah, but I, it has become a face of fitness in, uh, in our industry, but is it a sign of fitness? Absolutely no. I, I always say, and this is what I was explaining to Jamal and when Dabu was shooting me also, I say if you need to be fit, and if you're talking about men especially, you need to have good legs. Uh, and uh, Jamal, what's that word you said for Indian men about their legs? Chicken legs. Yeah, so most Indian men, and, and there's nothing wrong with it, the problem is we don't concentrate on our legs because anything that's concealed, you don't work on. That's why unfortunately in India you see most of the men's ha men having big arms. But that's the only part that shows. So I believe that uh, if you don't have arms, you don't have legs, you don't have shoulder, you don't have chest, you don't have a back, what's the point of a six pack? You need to have a proportionate body. And honestly, you may not even have a six-pack, but you could be healthier than this guy on the poster. Very honestly. Because I believe that there are people here who are far healthier than I am. You know? And you don't need to have a six-pack. 
So I think healthiness is a sign of what you eat, how you live your lifestyle. And um, sometimes we, we are not exactly the best example of it. You know, so we need to draw a balance somewhere. By we, you mean film stars are not necessarily the best example. Yeah. You are not or, the best example. Or, you know, film stars. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So maybe maybe when I see their legs, I'll tell you. <laughs> because I, I really can't say. I don't see anyone's legs. Huh? Pawn dikha. Wo to ek hi aadmi ne dikha hai. Wo jo pani se bahar nikalta hai yellow trunks mein. Nahi nahi, mazak kar raha hai. But I just feel you need to uh, you need to have a proportionate body. That's all I'm saying. And I'm sure actors do have proportionate bodies. And uh, it's just that I haven't seen anybody's legs because I don't play dostana every day of my life. Um, actually, honestly, I can keep going on. It's going to take a lot of time, but the basic things I can tell you, and this is for women too, and women and men. I think um, you can have any excuse in the world about your work being too difficult and your timings being irregular, but I think you have to find time to have your meals on time. Very important. Very important. Maybe your boss will say, go out and do this assignment. I think you need to carry your tiffin or whatever. Get your food from the house. And this is the best advice I can give each one of you here. Be selfish where your body is concerned. And take care of your body. And if your senior does not really care about it as much as you do, he doesn't really care about you. You got to care about yourself. You got to look after yourself. So that's the most important advice I'll give all of you as friends. Um, the other thing I can't advise anybody on smoking, drinking, doing drugs, but if you can avoid doing all of this, it's great. Especially drugs is a complete no. You know, doing drugs is uh, something that's completely unavoidable. Um, drinking, I'm sure people drink to socialize. Having a glass of red wine is okay. That's all I can say. Beyond that, you got to deal with me. <laughs> Let me also tell you that in the article which you will see, uh, you know, John can go on talking about fitness. He will, uh, he can go non, go on non-stop. In the story, we, uh, when he went on and on, and we didn't know how to place it and how to correct it and how to fit it all in, we called it Saint John's Ten Commandments, and we fit it into a Ten Commandments. So, if you really want his tips, read those Ten Commandments. They pretty much cover it all. Yes, the lady in the front. So when I say uh, success is not consistent, it's not uh, consistent in anyone's life. We get films that are successful, we have films that fail. Your personal life is great, it's not so great. Your, your public life is great, it's not so great. So in life, success in general, the definition of success is very wide. Uh, but for me as, as, a, as an actor, it's about my films. I think starting with um, Force, Shootout at Badala, Houseful 2, um, Race 2, Vicky Dona that I produced, Madras Cafe. My films have been fairly successful. But I do believe that there is going to be a crest and a trough. There is going to be a dip somewhere. And there is going to be a high. I hope that with Welcome Back, Force 2, Dishum, I believe it's the best part of my career still to come. And I think this is the most consistent phase of my career still to come. So, um, I believe that like, just like I was answering um, Ravi, right? I was answering, I was talking to Ravi right now. The only time where I feel fitness and success in my life is going to be consistent is going to be this phase of my life, the next three years. So that's one, one question. I hope I've answered it, yeah? Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. So Welcome Back um, has great actors and um, it's great to be associated with all of them. Um, that's one film where I've been let out on my own without an Akshay and I'm happy. Um, outside of that, um, uh, my next film is Rocky Handsome that's releasing on the 2nd of October. 
uh, if force was good rocky handsome is here and um, it's never seen before action and it's probably again like i say uh, double shot this um, when we were shooting rocky handsome so you can expect a lot of action a lot of body and a lot of stunts and great intensity and a great solo film from john abram there then of course um, i have a film at varun that's uh, dishum that's starting in um, um, on april 10th i have hera fairy 3 that's starting march and um, then i have force 2 which is another solo film that's starting august 1st and a film with shujit to answer your question starting december 15th